It's the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month, and there is a new movie on Amazon Prime about American astronaut Jose M. Hernandez, the son of migrant farm workers. He didn't speak English until he was 12. Yeah, his childhood dreams were out of this world, and he made them come true through perseverance and seeing someone just like him doing what he wanted to do, which is go to space. The lot <laughs> Suzanne Marquez joins us with more. I love this. He is so inspiring. Yeah. I'm so happy I got to speak with him. Aww. I've looked up to him for years, so I love that millions of people will learn more about him. So Michael Pena plays him in this inspiring new movie. A teacher noticed his gift for math and urged his father to keep the family in one place to help with his son's education. He shot for the stars and he made it there. So what's your big goal, dream? I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> Oh my God, you're serious. Okay. Going to space, it's a stupid dream. Last 10 candidates were chosen from 12,962 applicants. It's never gonna happen. In the new movie, A Million Miles Away, Michael Pena plays American astronaut Jose M. Hernandez, who was born in Stockton, but his family traveled from Michoacan, Mexico as migrant farm workers, following the crops, changing schools with the seasons. He didn't learn English until he was 12, but connected to the universal language of math. A teacher noticed his potential and convinced his father to put down roots in the San Joaquin Valley to allow his bright son to get a full education. I wanted to be an astronaut. The dream was conceived when I was 10 years old, right? I saw the very last Apollo mission. Seven, ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. Two, one, zero, we have a liftoff. The launch of Apollo 17 sparked his dream. He knew he could make that dream his reality when he saw and heard astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz, someone who looked and sounded just like him in space. And here are some of the uh, operations uh, in the cabin getting ready to, to launch that satellite. I was a senior in high school and getting ready to graduate. I knew I was going to college, but I was more worried about, hey, I'm going to be an engineer and this and that. And I had the, in the back of my brain, el gusanito that I want to be an astronaut, right? But it was kind of dormant, if you will. And then I hear the news that the first Hispanic American astronaut, none other than the uh, guy from Costa Rica, Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz. Having never been overseas, and I, I used to tell myself, what a way, what a way to go overseas. First of all, I saw him, Morenito, kind of brown like us, right? He spoke English with an accent like me, and he came from my similar disadvantaged uh, social economic background and from uh, Costa Rica. And yet he became a NASA astronaut. And I said, if he can do it, why can't I? And so he did. If only it were that easy. Jose M. Hernandez did not lift off into outer space right away. He was rejected from NASA 11 times before he was accepted. Those people who got into the program, what do they have that you don't? They have skills that I don't have. It's taken them years to get where they are, but there's no guarantee. He got his pilot's license, learned to scuba dive, and learned Russian. Over the last 10 years, I've applied to the space program 12 times, and I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection. But you know what, sir? Here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. On July 15th of 2008, he was selected for a 14-day mission on the space shuttle Discovery. One. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. They performed spacewalks and resupplied the International Space Station. While in orbit, he became the first person to tweet in Spanish from space. And while his life story is brought to the big screen and a million miles away, his life story is too big to capture in just one movie. I mean, I'm reading about you developing mammography systems, things that didn't even make the movie that are so incredible about exactly, your life. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. People ask me, what's the one thing you would have liked on the movie uh, to be in there? And I would have said, you know, they missed a third of my career at the lab. The middle part 
where I co-developed the first full-field digital mammography system for the earlier detection of breast cancer. Would have loved that to make that, but you know, you only got two hours, so you got to cut some stuff up. And so I understood. This will not be your future, but it will always be your past. Who better to leave this planet and dive into the unknown than a migrant farm worker? By the way, Jose M. Hernandez also serves on the board of UC Regents. He's president and CEO of Tierra Luna Engineering. He's also a winemaker. Now he <laughs> owns his own land instead of just farming it. And he does farm it with his father. You can watch A Million Miles Away on Amazon Prime. What wow. can't he do? <laughs>